My wife said she was going to divorce me if I gave my daughter a silly name. So I called her Bluff. <laughs> Awful, I know, don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be having a look how you can install the Google Play Store onto a Fire Stick or any Amazon device. So let's quickly show you now. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max, but like I said, this is going to work on any Amazon device. What I am going to quickly say is this isn't the official Google Play Store, but it's a store that's almost identical that gives you access to every app inside the Google Play Store. And if you are having issues, do comment down below and myself or somebody else seeing the comment may be able to help you. Right, so first of all, you're going to get an app called Downloader. I'm guessing the majority of you already have this on your device. If not, simply go into the Amazon App Store, find and search, and you'll find Downloader in there. Once that's installed, we want to open it up. So once we open it up, if it is the first time you're using it, make sure you allow the permissions. That's very important. And then we can click OK, and it comes up like this. Now we're going to go up to the search bar just above it and click it. And then type in the website letscrackon.org. So I'm not going to skip it because a lot of people do shout at me for going a bit too fast at this stage. So letscrackon.org. Exact as you see it there. Pause the video if you need to. And then we're going to click on go. If you need to, to, or to. <laughs> Once the website's loaded up, what we can do in the top left, you're going to see it says menu. Click on that, then click on Downloads. If you do get an advert, the beauty of watching my videos is I tell you where not to click. So we're going to click on that cross in the top right there. So once we're here, we're going to scroll down. And on App Stores, we're going to see the Aurora Store. Click on that. And it's going to start downloading and installing to your device. Simply follow the install prompts, go down and across to Install. And then we can click on Done. Now you want to make sure to delete and delete again. This is deleting the APK file that's no longer needed. Another app that's going to benefit you that you should install while you're here is a virtual mouse. So we're going to scroll down this list and we're going to see mouse toggle for Fire Stick. Click on that. Scroll down until you see the download button. Click on that. Give it a couple of moments once again. Follow the install prompts. Click on done. Once again, click delete and delete again and you're good to go. So first of all, what we're going to do is set up mouse toggle for Fire TV so that we don't have to set it up after and it's there ready to use. So you want to go to apps and you're going to find mouse toggle as you can see there. And to activate the air mouse, you want to double click on the play pause button. And as you can see, it's working fine. Now, a lot of people may have issues with this. And if you do get a prompt saying allow USB debugging, click always allow then OK. And if you are struggling getting mouse toggle for Fire TV to work, I'll put a video on the top right hand corner now and in the description down below that's a full walkthrough video of how to do it. And if you are somebody that uses mouse toggle a lot, I would consider getting a USB remote with a built-in air mouse. These are brilliant and you turn on the mouse and you can control it like that. But I'd only recommend that if you do use it quite often. Another thing I will quickly mention though is when doing mouse toggle for Fire TV, go to My Fire TV Inside Settings, Developer Options and make sure ADB Debugging is turned on. So now we're going to open the store that's like our replacement for the Google Play Store on a Fire Stick. The downfall is it doesn't have an icon on the updated version of Amazon's OS, but it is there. We can click on it. And then as you can see, we can navigate without the mouse. So I'll click on I have read the terms of that, and then we're going to click Accept. Click on Next. We're going to leave that checked as it is. You can change the mode, so if you prefer dark mode, you can change it to that, but we're going to leave it as default at the moment. You can change the accent colors. I'm going to click on next. And now you're going to want to grant permissions so the Aurora store is able to install apps to your device. So click on grant and allow and then grant and install unknown apps. Find the Aurora store, turn that on, go back. Once they're all granted, go down to the bottom, click on finish. You can sign in with a Google account or you can stay anonymous, which I'm going to. I'm just going to click anonymous. Once it loads in, as you can see, it loads up. 
pretty much identical to the Google Play Store. Now, you can try and navigate around this without the air mouse, but if we double click the play pause button, it's going to bring up that mouse there. What you will see is you can't scroll up and down, but if we click on the fast forward button on your Fire Stick remote, well, you're going to see that scrolls down. And then to scroll back up, you click on those three lines, so the options button, and that'll scroll back up the page. Now, the thing with the Aurora Store is it does detect what device you are using. But what you can do is go to the top left-hand corner, and you can spoof. So, we click on Spoof Manager, and then you can change what device the app thinks you're using. So if you want an app that's available on an Android phone, but you can't get it on such as a Fire Stick, we can tick off the Google Pixel there on the right hand side, go back, go down to accounts, and then we're gonna log out, and then go back in anonymously, click on the back button, and then you will be able to find any apps available on those devices. And also, if some of you are wondering why you'd sign in with a Google account, it's if you've purchased any apps previously that are on your account, you don't want to pay for them again, so that's just one reason why you'd sign in. Now, granted, that's not the official Google Play Store on Fire Stick, but it's very, very close. And the main reason people are wanting to do this is because, obviously, Amazon have their own store, Google have their own store, but a lot of apps are available on mobile and tablet devices. And obviously, if they don't support Android TV versions, then they're not available in the official stores on your streaming device. So it might not appeal to a lot of people, but it's a very good option if you are looking for an app that's only available on mobile. And if you are somebody that uses streaming apps quite a lot, especially sideloading, then a VPN can be very useful. The one I use most often and recommend is IP Vanish. I will leave a link in the description down below to the best offers. They are affiliated links, so they do support the channel. But if you do use my links, I just want to say thank you very much. Right, so I'm going to let you get off. Enjoy your day. Let me know in the comment section down below how you're doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm watching this, and I'll see you soon. ta -da. Right, so I'm on the. <laughs> I'm on what? Right, so I'm on the Amazon. Gone. Another thing I'll just mention while I'm here. <laughs> what? And then I'm also gonna pit. <laughs> I'm also gonna pit. <laughs> and if you are somebody that uses mouse toggle a lot, I would recommend looking at this. 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 <laughs> Right, so if you're still here, thank you for sticking around. I'm going to put you a video up here that I think you're going to find useful, and then I'm going to leave a video down here that YouTube recommends that you watch next. And as always, enjoy your day. See there.